We have breaking news for you this morning. There was a school shooting incident at Italy High School. Now, here's what we know at this point. We understand that this morning a call came out. There was a school shooting at about 8 o'clock. And at this point, we understand that there was one victim. It was a female, a girl, who was taken to the hospital. But we do know that that shooting suspect has been arrested. So this all wrapped up fairly quickly. The call came out at about 8 o'clock this morning. And from we understand, according to a tweet from the Ellis County Sheriff's Office, this situation or the scene that is was under control um, by the Sheriff's Department at about 827. Yeah, we understand that parents were given a text alert this morning after that situation happened. That's according to one parent who showed us that text message. I want to remind you uh, this morning that that was the high school. So Italy High School is actually sixth grade through 12th grade and they were being bused. Those students were to Stafford Elementary School. Now, again, I do want to mention that one person was shot. That was a girl, a female. She was taken to the hospital. We understand this is a According to the district, no other students were hurt. The school was on lockdown as well as Stafford Elementary School for some time this morning before that situation was controlled and those students again now being bused over to Stafford Elementary School. Um, an interesting dynamic there with this high school being 6th through 12th grade, so a wide um, range there um, as far as age groups are concerned. Italy Police Department and the Department of Public Safety responded to an active shooter at the Italy High School. A 15-year-old student was transported by care flight to Parkland Hospital. A 16-year-old male suspect was taken into custody by Department of Public Safety and the Italy Police Department. This is an active investigation. Ellis County Sheriff's Office is lead in this investigation. We're being assisted by the Department of Public Safety, the Hill County Sheriff's Office, and Italy Police Department and the Texas Rangers. Um, I'm gonna follow up with Superintendent Joffrey for questions. Good morning, folks. This is a trying time for our community and our school. We appreciate you being here to help us communicate information. This morning when the administration became aware that there was an active shooter on our campus, the school district immediately took action to get our students into a safe position. Uh, currently, we're working with Region 10 to make sure that we have grief counseling available for our students. We have counselors throughout the Region 10 area that are coming to assist us. In a little while, we're going to uh, be helping our parents reunite with their children. Uh, we have set up an area where they can do that at Stafford Elementary School at the cafeteria. And when the, this part of this investigation is done, uh, our administrative team and our teachers will make sure that our students are transported there safely. Thank you. I'll take any questions if I can. Do we know the condition of the victim? At this time, I don't know the condition of the victim. What led up How to this shooting? What made this young man do something like this? Uh, right now, at this point in the investigation, the school district is unaware of the, that, that information. Was that young lady targeted, or was he just shooting in general? Oh, we're unaware of that information also. I'm How, sorry. How was the shooter stopped? They, uh, that I do not know. Uh, I do know that the shooter left the building uh, immediately after the shots. What's the relation between both the shooter and, and did they know each other at least? Ma'am, ma we don't know that. We are still working this active investigation. We, um, did, did the suspect have any history at this school as far as a history of getting in trouble in the past? Uh, that's information that I, I can't share at this time, uh, simply because during the investigation, it's going to be important for, for us to make sure that we, uh, we share appropriate information. I do thank you for this, and the uh, police department will be taking uh, from this point forward. Can you confirm, Sergeant, um, that this shooting happened in the cafeteria? If so, how many other students were there? I do not know the number of students that were in the cafeteria, but I do know that the uh, shooting did occur in the cafeteria, all right? We will follow up with you guys with more information as it comes. This is an active investigation. We're about two hours into this situation. 
um, and we'll hold another press conference when we can. All right. Thank you. Ma'am, this is an active investigation. We haven't been able to. Uh, so the shooter was a student. The shooter was a student. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.